Hello, happy Tuesday. Um, I'm making something and I want to show you what I'm making. Get you turned around here. Um, I, if you don't follow Carnivorous Chef, uh, what are you doing with your life? Um, he's really great here on YouTube. He's got a lot of great recipes you could use if you're keto or carnivore. Um, so what his recipe is, and he probably got it, I don't know where he got it. Um, a fourth, let's see, I'm double checking, a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm making a double batch, so I ended up using a half teaspoon of baking powder. Then you use two eggs and two ounces of ground pork rinds. Um, I have pork panko, it's probably backwards to y'all, um, some pork panko that I had bought a long time ago and I store it in my freezer. Um, but I store it in the freezer and I've got a couple other canisters of it and um, yeah, this is best by February of 2021. But it's working. It's still dry and good. So I just store it in the freezer. So that, two eggs, and a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. Like I said, I've got this doubled up. I doubled the batch. It seems a little thinner than last night. But I, so here's the thing. I have jumbo eggs. I do not know what kind of eggs he used. Um, I, prob I think he uses large eggs. But these jumbo eggs, that's why I used um, three ounces of pork panko with my jumbo eggs. So, um, I've got it mixing up here. And um, I'm going to kind of let it sit and kind of absorb some of the moisture. And in the meantime, just to kind of make sure it gets all around in there. In the meantime, I bought this. And um, I bought it a while ago because I was going to use it and kind of forgot all about it. Well, I'm using it now. So I've got some avocado oil and I'm going to spray this. I'm going to spray it over here just a second. Okay, I'm spraying it over the sink. You can see the, you can see the oil shimmering. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, I sprayed it. Um, so then what you do is you put your mixture in these and, um, and then you bake it for 12 to 15 minutes. I made five the other day, and they're so good. I'm, I think, because it made five when I did it, or last time, because like I said, it was so thick. Um, and I think it, uh, the, whenever it made five, I did, um, it was 135 calories, then it was nine grams of fat and zero carbs. So, I'm going to, since it's thinner, I might be able to get a better, um, a better outcome. I might be able to get more portions since it's a little thinner. Because I don't need it to be thick. I just want it to be enough. So I'm going to use like a little, one of these little jobbers. This one's a fourth cup and I don't plan on doing all of it, but just something to have a little more control. I'm going to put a little bit in each one of these and I'll kind of beat it around and spread it out. <clears throat> so how I used these, I made a grilled cheese sandwich for work yesterday and today. Um, last night I had that chili and I was still full at supper. And about 8 o'clock, I got hungry. And I was like, well, what can I have? 
And I said, well, wait a minute. I got one piece of bread left. So why don't I take that, fold it in half, put a couple pieces of the um, uh, cheese, uh, or a couple pieces of that pre-cooked bacon, and then I put some um, a piece of cheese in there, and I had a couple tomatoes. So I and trust me, I know I could go out and I could buy some keto bread. Yes, yes, I can. However, there was about twenty ingredients when I looked at that keto bread. And do you know how many ingredients there are in this? Three. Three. So, that's it. And that's three ingredients. So, you can't get much more uh, clean than this. What's pork rinds made out of? Pork skin and oil. What's eggs made out of? Chicken butt. What's... Uh, 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 baking soda made out of sodium bicarb. Literally one ingredient in that. So the, my, what I'm, my point is I was able to have this bread. Whoop, I missed one. I was able to have this bread like stuff as a fun little thing and um, it, was, it was good and it was fun. And I'm not saying I'll do them every day or anything, but I was not starving at supper time, but I wanted something. So, a, you know, one of these little pieces of bread with a little bit of cheese and bacon and tomato was perfect. So, damn, there, let me. Okay, right. so my oven is at 350, and like I said, this is going to bake for 12 to 15 minutes. I messed that one up, but it's because I thought I saw a chunk of, of uh, pork rind. You can crush up your own pork rinds. You can... Uh, You know, do all this in the food processor. It's really up to you and whatever you want to do. So we'll see how many I get out of this. And, um, but like I said, 135 calories, seven fat, and, um, and no carbs. So I'm going to bake this. I'll set a timer for four. I think I did 14 minutes last night. So I'll do 14 minutes and I'll get back to you. Okay, y'all. Let me get this out. And I'll show you what I'm making for supper. Gonna be hot. Let me show you one that's done. This is the first batch. They're a little thicker. I actually ended up having to water this down a little bit. Um, but look, that holds up like a biscuit, so it's really good. I'll show you what I'm gonna make with it here in a little bit. Pull one out because what I'm gonna eat. Um, I feel like. I did have to, like I said, I had to water it down a little bit. Um, remember whenever I was kind of sprinkling in a little extra of the of the pork rind? As it sits, it hardens up a little bit or thickens up. So I should have left that extra bit out. But, man, it is what it is. Um, so, they cool pretty fast. So they look like cookies. You might even be able to put a little cinnamon sugar on there. I don't know. I don't, or not sugar. <laughs> a little cinnamon and Splenda or something. So for supper, I'm going to have 
some a cup of spinach, five tomatoes, and not quite two tablespoons of G Hughes honey mustard or honey mustard dressing. I put it in here so I can have a little control. That little tip that at the at the end gives me a little bit better control for uh, squirting it on. Let me see, I'm looking for my Hang on, let me move this pan. It's a little on the hot side and I don't want to bump it. So the way I'm going to do this is I got my, my, I call it, so the guy who, um, who, you know, who I saw this on, uh, there's the inside of it. Um, the guy I saw this with was, um, his name is Reed. But his show is Carniv Car Carnivorous Chef. That's his channel. So I call it Reed's Bread. Is how I plug it into my fitness pal. So I've got two, pie uh, two pieces of bacon here. This is that pre-cooked bacon. And I'm going to take a half of my white American cheese. So I did last night. And I put my top on it. And I'm gonna have this along with my salad. After that lunch I had, that chili, it's so good, but it's so heavy and so filling. And I'm trying to learn to be like some people, some people who don't have the issues that I have mentally with food. Trying to learn, you know, if I have a dense, heavy supper or lunch, then I should have a lighter supper. So that's what I'm trying to teach myself. Uh, seven grams. A second here. So I'm trying to learn um, about things like that. Okay. Um, because I, I don't ever want to go back to eating all the carbs and stuff, you know, so that's not my point. But my point is to be able to reintegrate, reintegrate with society. And, uh, yeah, so that's how I plan on doing it is <clears throat> learning about portions, learning about calories, learning about, you know, all these things that I should be doing for my health. Hang on. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm trying to, you know, before I started eating this way, I was more concerned about losing weight. And I am, I am very, very highly focused on losing weight. But I also want to learn and be like so many other people in the world who are not food obsessed. I wanna be able to learn to look at something and be like, okay, yeah, I could eat one of something. It doesn't have to be five or 10 of something. That's my problem. My problem with food is so many years of eating five pieces of, of uh, French toast or eating, you know, two big waffles along with, you know, four or five eggs. And so I don't, my brain does not know how to process and visualize that this is enough food. My brain just doesn't think that way. And so um, I know there's many programs out there that does teach people that, but I wasn't ready. I wasn't um, until I started keto, until I was able to clear my brain and think about, um, uh, think about you know, or not having processed 
food in my brain, not having brain fog. It just, somebody say, oh, just eat this amount of, uh, what? Are you out of your mind? Like I, even now, I watch this other uh, lady on YouTube, uh, Keto Carnivore-ish Chris, love her. And even now, I, I look at her portions and stuff and I'm like, what's wrong with her? I mean, she's about this big around, but she started out big, so, you know, she's gotten there. But um, I watch her, and I'm like, well, that ain't a portion for nothing but a bird. But it's because that's the way my brain has been thinking for 40 years of just <laughs> eating a whole bag of chips, eating a whole bag of M&Ms, eating, you know, everything had to be so much, so much. So anyway, this is what I'm doing to try to help me learn um, by watching my calories and learning about portion sizes and that's how I'm gonna do it so this is what I'm eating tonight for supper oh let me show you what I'm gonna have for tomorrow just a second here <clears throat> I showed y'all I made this pizza the other day and that's what's left over so I'll take this for lunch tomorrow and I've got my dressing and I've got some spinach salad. I got an egg cut up in there and some bacon bits and my dressing. And then uh, that's lunch. But breakfast, I've got my breakfast casserole. And then my plan, based on my calories that I have used up, is that I'll probably I'll have this same supper tomorrow. Um, so <clears throat> I'll pack this up tomorrow morning and put it in my lunch box and I'll take that to work and then I'll come home tomorrow night and I'll grab a piece of piece of my reed bread, reed's bread. Uh, tastes good to me. I haven't had bread in two years. So to me, it just tastes good. So if you try it, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to click like. If you want to see more videos, click subscribe. And have a good day.